Alternative Takeoff Procedures. The hoverhead the helicopter is able to maintain can be affected by all up mass, density altitude and power available. These factors can limit the ability to hover outside ground effect and, in extreme cases, limit the ability to hover inside ground effect. In these circumstances the type of departure or arrival may need to be modified. Terrain and obstructions may also require a modified takeoff technique. Rolling takeoff. Where this is insufficient power available over power required to lift off vertically, it may be necessary to undertake a rolling takeoff. This procedure uses the forward speed, ground effect, and translational lift to get airborne. Cushion creep takeoff. Similar to the rolling takeoff, but this time the helicopter hovers in ground effect and then accelerates just above the ground and then uses translational lift to continue the climb out. Towering takeoff. Used only in extreme circumstances where the presence of obstructions prevent transition to normal forward flight. Because it places the helicopter in the height velocity curve, it should be avoided wherever possible. Downwind takeoffs. Downwind takeoffs should be avoided wherever possible because of limited rearward cyclic control. Tailwinds affect stabilizer effectiveness and reduce longitudinal stability. All of this demands additional piloting skills. Mm -hmm.